In this video, we will be working on a uh, ballistic pendulum. This is a very classic example that in which we can practice the conservation of momentum and the conservation of mechanical energy. So let's get started. As it's this term suggests, the ballistic pendulum contains two events. So for the first event, this is event one. A bullet of the mass of 50 gram moving at 200 meter per second strike a 3.2 kilogram block and embed in it. So this is a inelastic collision process. So we can use the conservation of momentum. So after this, the bullet and the block system become a pendulum and it's going to start to swing like this. And here we use this dashed line to represent the highest spot this pendulum can arrive. And this is going to be the height we want to find out. Okay. And for this process, this is going to be the event two. Only the gravity is doing work, so we know the mechanical energy is conserved. So let's just use these two conservation laws to set up the equation for this two event. So for the event one, it is a inelastic collision. So we can use the conservation of momentum. So the PI equals to the PF. That's the initial momentum equals to the final momentum and they are vectors. And for here, this is a 1D problem. So we can write MV0. That's the initial momentum of the bullet. And After the uh, bullet embed in the block, their final velocity is V, so, and their total mass is capital M plus small m. That is the uh, conservation of momentum. So from this equation, we can solve the velocity after this inelastic collision. It's going to equal to mv0 divided by the total mass. So if we plug in the numbers, and we can obtain that the velocity equals to 3.1 meter per second. So then we're going to look at this pendulum. And we know for this pendulum, the mechanical energy is conserved. So if we set up the initial height of this block as over zero potential energy, then we know when this pendulum swing from the original place to the high spot, their kinetic energy convert to the potential energy. So we can write down half total mass times V squared gonna equals to the total mass of this bullet block system, GH. So we will have the H equals to V squared over 2G. So if we plug in the velocity we find from the event 1 divided by 2 times 9.8, we will have the height equals to 
0.49 meters. So this is a very classic example that we can apply the conservation of a momentum for the event one, and then we use the conservation of mechanical energy for the uh, event two. Note that for the event one, this is a inelastic collision. So in this process, the mechanical energy is not conserved. This is important. Also, we can also slightly change the setting of the equation of this problem. For example, if the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block is given, and if we can measure the height, then we should be able to retrieve the initial velocity of the bullet. So this can provide us a method to measure the velocity of a bullet. However, the height h is not easy to measure, but we can measure the angle theta of this swaying pendulum. So if we can measure theta, and if we know the length of the string, then we can convert h equals to l minus l cosine theta. So it can equals to l1 minus cosine theta. So in this case, if we can measure theta, and if we know L, then we can find H and using the same two equations here, we are able to retrieve the initial velocity of the bullet.